And so we see our women's B 800. A hot field here for our women. With hip number one, we have Megan Dean of Old Zavarians. Number two, Amy McKinlay of Glen Huntley. Number three, Amy Canavan of Eureka. Number four, Julie Fitt of Box Hill. Number five, Bridget Humphrey of Deakin. Number six, Sky Ellis of Chilwell. Number seven, Cleo Richardson of St. Kevin's. Number eight, Karima Joaquim of Collingwood. Number nine, Daisy Sudholes of Eureka. Number 10, Tanasha Santosh of Glen Huntley. And rounding it out with number 11 is Declan Tanner of Mornington Peninsula. So a very, very class field here, Mick. These ladies have raced all across the summer at Vic Milers Club. I reckon we've seen every name on this track at the Victorian Milers Club. And it's hard to split them, honestly. There is about 1.8 yeah. seconds yeah. between them in PBs. Definitely. There's some athletes on the track more experienced than others. There's some who are more the younger up-and-comers. It will be very interesting to see if any of them dip under that 2.14, which is the lead seed time from Julie Fitt, Bridget Humphrey and Sky Alice, the athletes right in the middle, who are the athletes who are charging out to the front of this race right now. Bridget Humphrey might get the best of them around 100, 150 metres into the race. Sky Alice on her inside and Julie Fitt on her outside will be your top three right now as the athletes start to string out. It's not quite as bunched as the previous races and someone's just taken... Bridget Humphrey, that will be our athlete from quite Chilwell. I think that is Sky Alice there by the looks of it, the Chilwell yeah. uniform. So Sky Alice, Bridget Humphrey, 250 metres gone in this race. Two minutes 14 is the time that they are aiming for. They would have to be going through in about 66, so even Sky 65. Alice. She's going to stretch them out here, Mick, I reckon. So they're obviously running for a time. There's no, yes. no ability in placing here at Vic Miles Clubs. It's all about the time. So Ellis, she's going to lead out from Humphrey. Fit on the outside there. McKinlay on the inside. Nicely tucked on the rail. So if you can stay on the rail around the bend, it seems to be very beneficial thus far, Mick. But we see Julie Fit. She's going to try and get over the top of Humphrey just to hug that rail right now. So it is still all Sky Ellis out in front. Julie Fit might have to be the one to try and put this race on there back and try and peg back Sky Ellis but the sky right now it's the limit and as we start <laughs> to see right now Julie Fit on her outside too I can't quite get a read on who that is but Julie Fit's going to try and keep her out of the inside of the track with 200 metres to go but Mick Sky Ellis she, she might be tightening up a little bit and the rest of this pack is going to start to hunt yeah absolutely the pack is starting to string out they are bridging the gap ahead as a race of five out the front now as they round that final bend they all went through in about 64 to 66 seconds it's just a matter of how hard or how fast they can close in this final lap as it is cleo richardson taking the lead from sky alice for the first time julie fit charging quickly behind but it is cleo richardson who will take the win in the women's b 800 metres in a time of 2.13. Couple well, of and all of the athletes under 2.17 in this women's B. So seed time's only separated by about one to two seconds and finishing time's about three seconds. I reckon that's the closest yeah. race we've seen so far. Oh, definitely.